Hey, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of the Wampler Plexi Drive Deluxe Overdrive Distortion. Uh, let me tell you all about this cool pedal. First, I'll tell you about everything else in the signal chain. I'm playing my PRS SE1 that I've totally bastardized, put in different pickups, put in a B bender, drew all over it, probably while drunk. I don't know. Uh, anyway, it's a total uh, Frankenstein guitar, but I love it. Um, I'm running an Astro cable out of it into the Plexi Drive. Plexi Drive is being powered by Voodoo Labs Pedal Power. That's running into a uh, into a Mesa Boogie Lone Star, which I'm micing with the Royer R121 mic, going to an Apache Quartet, and into Pro Tools. Whew. So in short, guitar, pedal, amp. Now, uh, this pedal, what they're going for, as you might suspect, is that kind of plexi, Britishy tone. And man, they do it really well, and it's got a lot of cool options. It's a, I think of this as two, two drives in one. More, more, one kind of overdrive, one kind of distortion. You can use it as a boost, you can use it as an EQ, whatever but it's cool. Why don't I spin some knobs and show you what it does? So as I said, this is basically two drives in one. Here in red, here in blue. So when you engage this side of it, you have use of this, of the EQ and these two different boosts. This is a bass boost and this is a treble boost. And the EQ will kind of help you sculpt it. Here is the level and this is the post volume. So you dial in your dirt here, volume there let me show you what it does so we'll start out with that down a bit and just bring up the volume a bit here it is flat now as i engage that to me you know that just the uh, with the post up a little bit, you get a little bit of added grit to it, but it's not like a real over, not a super overdriven sound. And the truth is, if you've plugged into Marshalls, that's kind of what they sound like for the most part, unless you really dime them, they've got this kind of tone. What I like about this is you can boost your mids way up and you get a very, to me, a very kind of authentic, classic British kind of tone. Like I said, that's just kind of starting to break up, but that mid boost makes it big. Actually, all right now might be a little bit dirtier than that. Let me let me dial that in about halfway, see what we get. Now, right there with that mid-range honk, man, it's a funny thing about mid-range. It's not a particularly pleasant sound to be in the room with, but it really cuts through a mix. In fact, I found um, sometimes for boosting for solos, if you change, if you boost your mids like that, even if your volume doesn't necessarily change that much, you're going to punch through a lot better. So that's a cool trick with this. You can basically just have a little bit of a volume boost but when you get that mid-range way up there man it's gonna cut cut like a well like an old school british rock and roll tone so while we're talking about mids let's go the other route let's turn it all the way down kill our bass a little bit turn the drive way up to stun and go for that crazy dime bag thing with no mids at all <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't play like Dimebag at all, but I know his tone had no mids. So it's a cool little option on this. Now let's get back to EQing. Here we go. So that's with mids all the way down. 
these two right here these two toggles give you even more tone variety because you get a bass boost and you got a treble boost so let me show you what that does we'll have this kind of flat and bring the bass boost in bass boost let's go to treble boost now whoops gigs let's put them both on man I dig that that's cool so that's the basics here well let me show you what it does when you turn this thing all the way up we've shown it just kind of as a clean boost just with mids this is with the post way up this side of it adding some real dirt <laughs> dig about that when you've got it in the first side post all the way up everything else kind of in the middle as you use your volume on your guitar you can totally clean it up but you don't really lose much volume so man I love having that kind of expressive bit where you can have your rock and tone there deal it back a little bit and it's like a voice you can really kind of I don't know add that grit and growl when you feel like it without compromising volume very cool so that's the basics on this side now let's go into this happy little fellow over here I, um, both sides work independently of each other so that's pretty cool it really is like two in one so if this is my pedal I would probably keep this bad boy dimed over here so you'd have a nice clean then we want it Then we add this side to it for absolute sonic mayhem. <laughs> I 
I may be a tad close to the amp for that kind of volume, but you get the idea. It goes from everything from just a subtle, basic, cleanish boost to, uh, to crazy over the top, your amp is exploding distortion. So those are the basics on the Wampler Plexi Drive Overdrive Distortion. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. And while you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got all kinds of crazy crap for you to watch. It's John Bollinger. Till next time. Whoa. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.